Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thanks for tuning in. My name is Dim Maomi and I'm an I'm a I'm a <laughs> I am a Nigerian living in Lagos, Nigeria, and I mostly make videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys, slash trying out for the first time things that I got from the makeup fair. If you remember from the vlog that I just uploaded, I told you guys that I was not going to be getting a lot from the fair. And in all honesty, I did not. I just got a few things and I'm going to go on ahead and show you guys first. So I got some lashes, but I cannot use all of them. I'll be using this one here from Pearl Luxury Lashes and it's in the style eye candy i got some things from maybelline i got two of their dream matte mousse foundations i've heard a lot about these ones so i got um dark three and dark two i actually thought that dark three was going to be my perfect shade but then it looked a little bit too dark so i went back and i got dark two which is a little bit too light so i'm somewhere in between these two i'm going to mix them somehow in this video to come up with something that looks nice or decent i got mascara and this is the maybe maybe <laughs> jesus this is the maybe Colossal, 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 colossal mascara. You guys know how this is pronounced. I'm going to write it down somewhere here. This is actually not my first time using this. I've used this a long time ago, but then the thing was buying this when I got to the Maybelline stand, I wasn't sure. I just couldn't remember if I liked this or if I hated it. So I was like, I'm going to try it again. I got some things from Elsa's Pro. It was actually a subscriber that made me go to the Elsa Spro stand because I met her and we were talking and I asked her what she had seen so far because I was just coming and she was just leaving and she told me to go to the Elsa Spro stand that they have um, some really nice eyeshadows so I got their palette this is literally the most expensive thing that I got from the fair and I got a lip gloss as well so these are the things that I'm going to be trying for the first time so I'm going to try them out in this video and tell you guys what I think as I go so I already filled in my brows real quick so that this video does not take too long i also primed my eyes already i'm going to have a list of everything that i have used in the description box so i'm going to start out with the eyeshadow palette and this palette does not have a name it just says elsa's pro 24 color eyeshadow palette on the back so that's what this eyeshadow palette is called it's their 24 color eyeshadow palette and the colors look like this and the really really impressive colors to me here are the shimmer shadows I don't know if you guys can see and these colors are really pigmented they have little specks of glitter in them I'm going to start out with this palette I'm not really sure what colors I'm using I'm just going to start using with my MAC 224 I'm going to start with this brown shade here I'm going to apply this in my transition To give my lid color something to stick to, I'm going to be using NYX Jumbo Pencil in French Fries. It's like a dark, br not dark brown, it's a dark gold um, Jumbo Pencil. It's almost the same shade as my skin tone. That's the reason why I love it. I use it a lot. It's also going to give my lid color something to stick to. So on my lid, I'm going to be using this color right here. It's like a very bright copper with some serious pink in it. So I'm going to go in with my MAC 239 and I'm going to pack this color onto my lid. Oh gosh, these colors are so gorgeous. The shimmer eyeshadows, they are really, really pretty. I'm not even sure that I needed a base because considering how soft this shadow is, I don't think that I needed the NYX Jumbo Pencil. So I think you can actually skip that step. On my outer corner, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's like a black with a little bit of this color in it, if that makes any sense. This is my Sigma E55. I'm going to pat this into my outer corner. And I'm going to, oh, that's very, very pigmented. I applied too much. So I'm going to take a little at a time because this is really, really pigmented. So um, I've dusted off the excess and I'm going to work this into this area. And I want to wing it out as I go. To give my crease some depth, I'm going to take this dark brown here and this is my Sigma E45 and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this um, in my crease and then blend it in with the color that I have in my outer corner. Okay, so notice what I'm doing. I am taking the color from here into this area here. So I just want to make sure that my blending is seamless and I want it to look like the color starts from here irrespective of the fact that it is lighter than the black i want it to look like it's coming from the black into my crease area so i've gone back in with my mac 224 and i'm using this to blend out any harsh lines 
I think that I'm kind of done with the eyes already. So just to set my brow bone area, I'll use this neutral shade here. And this is a precision eyeshadow brush by Sephora. I am going to pack this into that area just to set the concealer that I have there. Okay, I like. This is the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take this shade here with my Sigma E30 and I'm going to pop this into my tear duct area just to open my eyes up a little bit more. I'm going to apply some mascara now. Okay, this mascara is decent. It's not doing anything fantastic for my curly lashes, but it's taking my lashes upwards. It's not really separating them as well as my Clinique High Length Mascara would, but it's I think it's decent it's just i think it's just giving me length it's trying to give me length more than anything it's not really separating that much and i really really like it when a mascara separates so So these are what the lashes look like. They are really, really dramatic. The band wasn't too stiff and it wasn't too flexible. It was something in between. So it made for really, really easy application for a pair of main lashes. They kind of remind me of the Dimma lashes by Lena Lashes, but that one is a lot more dramatic than this one is. So I'm going to go on ahead and line my waterline with this extremely soft eyeliner pencil by Mabrook. And once I'm done, once I'm done, once I'm done lining my waterline, I'm going to move on to the face. I'm starting by priming and I'm using my Elamasca Matte Veil as usual. This is going to prevent my face from getting oily and it's going to help my foundation last all day. Okay, so foundation time. I'm going to be using more of Dark 3 than I will Dark 2. This is going to be more of an all-over foundation for me. But then I think I'll focus this on the areas where lights would normally hit my face. Just to kind of highlight with it. I don't know, we'll see. I'll try and blend everything in as much as I can. Okay, so I'm going to be using my favorite foundation brush. This one is by GVS Place and I'm going to use this to blend everything out. I'm definitely something in between dark two and three. Looking at it now, this is giving me such skin-like finish right now. It doesn't feel or look like I have foundation on my skin, but I do have foundation on my skin. Hmm. And it's blending out so nicely. Okay, I think I'm in love with this foundation. I just hope that it wears nicely, not like the black opal stick foundation that I used in my last first impressions. It applied nicely, but then it did not wear well. I'm highlighting now and I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand as usual. I'm going to take a little powder puff I've upgraded from sponge to puff. I'm going to use this to set my immediate under eye area. Let it bake a little bit while I set the rest of the highlighter parts of my face with a brush. But before I go on ahead to set my immediate under eye area, the finish that this foundation has given me it's it's just nothing short of amazing i don't know how i've been sleeping on the dream matte mousse i don't even want to talk too much let me just set my immediate under eye area because before i set the rest of my face i'm just going to contour real quick and this is my black opal stick foundation in caro by the way i'm going to blend it out quickly To set my contour, I'll be using my ABH contour powder in espresso and this is my Sephora Small Contour Brush. I'll be setting my face with my Black Up 2 Way Cake in TW11 as usual. This brush here is the MAC 138 Tippered Face Brush. Quickly going back in with this palette and the brown, this one here, 
that I used on my crease earlier. I'm going to use a small smudge brush by Sephora and I'm smudging this on my lower lash line. For my blush, I'm using this shade here from my Sleek Blush by 3 palette in lace. This shade here is called Crochet. I already started applying the blush but then I had to adjust my settings because it had gotten too bright and the color wasn't really showing up. So I am applying this on my cheeks here. It's a very very nice coral shade. It kind of reminds me of Sleek's blush in Coral. So if you don't have this palette and you have Coral, Coral is a very good alternative to this one. To finish up this look, I'm going to take Toast. It's a lip pencil by a Nigerian brand called Cage Cosmetics. It's a nice brown and it's going to go well with the gloss that I'm going to apply. So the last product that I'm going to be using is a lip gloss by Elsa Pro. It's their charming lip gloss in number one. It's a nudish lip gloss with a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm not going to be applying a lipstick, I'll be using just this. So this is the look that I was able to achieve using products that I got from the fair. Um, I love most of the things that I got. The eyeshadow palette was amazing. The colors were really pigmented and really soft. And especially considering the fact that this palette is from a Nigerian brand, it's really impressive what they've done. And the best part of this video for me was the Dream Matte Mousse. I don't even know how I slept on this foundation for as long as I did. Like it's literally the best thing that I bought from the fair because looking at my face now, in the mirror, it's still giving me goosebumps. I don't know what I look like on camera. I'll see when I take out my memory card, but my face looks flawless, if I do say so myself. For the mascara, the Colossal, Colossal, Colossal mascara, um, there was really nothing fantastic about it. I'll say skip it if you can and get something that has a better wand. I don't think that there's anything fantastic about it. Um, the lip gloss, I wish it was a little bit thicker, but then I love the color. And then the lashes, I also loved. It's just drama the way that I like it. So I want my videos to be more of this now, trying out new products. Like the one problem that I've had, I've always wanted to do videos like this, but then access can be a problem and then buying these products as well. There can also be a problem for me, but then hopefully it will only get better and I'll keep doing these kind of videos for you guys. And what else? what else was i hit 100k this past weekend guys i am so grateful from the bottom of my heart i am so grateful you guys made my entire weekend the feeling that came with that 100k is not something i can begin to describe so thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart um if you're not subscribed please subscribe <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys